I've been finding them all in one layer. So what I do is I go find the layer in the red wall limestone where they occur, and then uh, I study the fossil content, and that's what we get. Forged over the course of millions or even billions of years, holding mysteries and secrets too extreme for the infinitesimal human mind, this is the Grand Canyon, one of the largest and most visited national parks in the world, which means that there are definitely going to be some juicy discoveries made in this archaeological wonderland. Pick up your backpacks, dress up for a hike, and join us as we take a trip to this beautiful landmark and explore 15 mysterious discoveries in the Grand Canyon that scared scientists. The History of the Grand Canyon Before we get started, here's a little lesson on the history and science of the Grand Canyon. Get your pen and notebooks because class is in session. A canyon is a narrow, deep valley created over millions of years by erosion activities. This amazing landscape is usually formed in terrains where rivers sculpt the rocks like master craftsmen creating a stunning piece that evokes a sense of awe and wonder every time they are observed. These ancient landmarks contain layers of rock as old as over two billion years. Seriously, think about that for a second. There are rocks that have been on Earth for over two billion years. Now that is amazing! Crafting a masterpiece takes time, and nature is a very patient artist, depositing sediments from ancient sea, mountains, and volcanic activity like the delicate touch of an artist's brush, adding fine details to an artwork. Each layer of a canyon comes out differently. Some stand as intimidating massive cliffs, while some crumble into slopes, and others form ancient staircases, leading to the edge of the river. So what's with the yellow, green, or red hue observed in most canyons? Well, this is due to the fact that the rocks are rich in minerals like iron, manganese, and organic matter, which gives it this peculiar coloration. Even if you've never been there before, chances are you've probably seen tons of pictures of this beautiful and diverse landscape on the gram. And if you are a curious cat like millions of tourists who visit the Grand Canyon every year, taking a picture in this perfectly picturesque location is probably high on your bucket list. The first thing you might notice about the Grand Canyon is its massive size, Although it's not the biggest or deepest canyon in the world, that record belongs to the Yar Lung Zhangbo River Grand Canyon in Tibet, China. Notwithstanding, this national park boasts of an impressive size, coming in at a jaw-dropping 1,904 square miles, the Grand Canyon will definitely swallow Rhode Island, which is only 1,212 miles, whole without missing a breath. In order to protect the Grand Canyon from plunderers, President Theodore Roosevelt declared the site a national monument in 1908. Number 15. Human Remains Not everyone that takes a hike or a drive through the Grand Canyon makes it back, because though this beautiful landscape offers amazing scenery, it is in fact the most deadly park in the United States. This breathtaking landscape sadly has the chances of taking your breath away literally, and that is due to many varied factors. One of them is extreme heat, which led to the unfortunate death of a 36-year-old woman in May 2023. She had been attempting to hike to the Colorado River and back in one day, a daunting challenge if you ask anyone who has been to the Grand Canyon. Unfortunately, she suffered a heat stroke, and despite efforts by the emergency crews to save her, it was too late. This woman is one of many enthusiasts who meet their end at the Grand Canyon due to extreme heat that can reach up to 104 degrees causing heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and hyponatremia. Unfortunately, as the effects of global warming on our planet becomes even more terrible, the temperature will keep rising, placing many other nature lovers at the risk of literally becoming one with nature when they visit the Grand Canyon. Heat stroke, however, isn't the only villain in this story. Many missing bodies have been recovered from the canyon, including that of Bershi Tomskani, who had been reported missing, and was later found 430 feet below the rim of the Grand Canyon after his car was found in the parking lift of the park. Cause of death? He fell. How he fell, and what caused the fall is still a question authority haven't been able to answer. 
While emergency crews were searching for Bershi Tomskanyi in 2021, they found another man later identified as Scott Walsh, who was last seen getting off a shuttle bus at the south rim of the park in 2015. His clothes perfectly camouflaged his body, which made it almost impossible to detect, probably why it took so long to find his body. This, and many more human remains and skeletons are often recovered from the site. From overambitious hikers to unexplained mysterious deaths, this enigmatic landscape can become a death trap real quick. Number 14. Ancient Doorway in a new discovery at the Grand Canyon that scared scientists and sent conspiracy theorists into a massive frenzy, this ancient doorway remains one of the evidences many hold on to, to support claims of alien life in the Grand Canyon. If aliens ever really visited Earth, they probably left the door open the last time they came, and it took the eagle eyes of Wayne Wells, a famous conspiracy theorist, to spot this anomaly on Google Earth. When you spot the stylistically arranged rocks on the Google Earth picture, you might probably think that it is just a normal feature of the canyon, but for conspiracy theorists, the feature was too designed to have been just a random product of natural rock formation. Many people believe that this was an ancient doorway, crafted into the Earth by aliens, who use it as a sort of portal to connect between their world and ours. Sounds like a blockbuster Marvel movie in the making, don't you think? The portal is pretty impossible to spot, as it is perfectly hidden among the rocks, shadows, and scrublands of the Grand Canyon. Was this a sort of interstellar airport, where alien vessels access the Earth, undetected by our advanced technology? If this is indeed true, then it changes absolutely everything we've ever believed. Even though the extraterrestrial claim is famous, it is pretty far-fetched, and has not been scientifically proven to be true, so take this with a pinch of salt. Number 13. An Ancient Egyptian City The Grand Canyon is home to many amazing discoveries, but did you know that it was also the site of a giant hoax that literally fooled everyone many years ago? It all started in the year 1909, with one man, G.E. Kincaid, who claimed he was an explorer from the Smithsonian Institution and was exploring the Grand Canyon. According to him, he accidentally stumbled upon a mysterious tavern which piqued his interest, and being the curious cat that he was, he decided to check it out, and boy was his mind blown by what he discovered within the cavern. Getting into the cavern was no easy feat, but every bit of stress and effort it took was absolutely worth it, when upon entering the enormous caves, he discovered an entire lost civilization that appeared to have been Egyptian or Tibetan. The cave was packed full with ancient Egyptian artifacts, statues, weapons made of copper, and even granaries full of seeds. According to Kincaid, the cave was so large that 50,000 people could live inside comfortably. But the big question that lingered in his mind was how an Egyptian civilization could have existed in Native America, and to such a large scale. When the Arizona Gazette broke the news, it created such a great buzz because who wouldn't be fascinated by such an unbelievable discovery? It's not every day to find traces of a civilization that would normally be way over there on the other side of the world, in your own country. But just like you're probably shaking your head right now with skepticism, that same reaction was commonplace at the time this discovery came to light. To further strengthen the argument that this was just another sensational story, the Smithsonian Institute had no record of the scientist nor any of his discoveries, and they quickly quelled any claims of the discovery. Also, no one else has been able to find these caves, even after combing the purported location through and through. But just like everything humans don't understand, we turned to conspiracy theories, and there are so many of them surrounding this mysterious discovery. Some believe that the story was probably concocted by the Arizona Gazette, in order to sell newspapers, while others believed that this was another case of massive cover-up by the government, because they had discovered a portal to the fourth dimension. You know how these conspiracy theories go? For now, this discovery is still an open discussion, with people on the many sides of the argument holding on to their own beliefs. Number 12. The Mystery of the Navajo Blanket Now onto something a little creepy. Hold on to your shorts as we delve into this story. In 1879, 
A trader by the name Don McGuire was taking an expedition through Arizona, crossing the Colorado River, when he met Emma Lee, who gave him a beautiful Navajo blanket in exchange for some of his goods. However, she warned him that the blanket was cursed and had brought her and her family much misfortune. Not one to believe in Halloween stories, McGuire accepted the blanket. And over the next two years, he went from an unbeliever in the paranormal to experiencing hundreds of calamities that made him believe that maybe the blanket was cursed after all. He was even more convinced that the blanket was responsible for his misfortune when all his troubles miraculously ended after he lost the blanket. Before you shake your head and dismiss this story, consider the fact that this was no isolated incident. In fact, stories of curse objects in the Grand Canyon are commonplace. Park rangers always receive letters from tourists who visited the canyon and illegally departed with some of its artifacts, experiencing bad luck, serious illnesses, and even plagues after taking the artifacts. Number 11. Crash Canyon From Halloween stories to real-life horrific events, the Grand Canyon has it all. June 30, 1956, a day that will remain forever etched in the memories of many Americans who lost their friends and families to one of the deadliest airline disasters in American history. Just an hour after taking flight at the Los Angeles International Airport, two aeroplanes, United Airlines Flight 718, and TWA Flight 2 collided with one another just above the Grand Canyon. When emergency crews found the wreckage the following day, the scene was absolutely gory and tear-jacking. All the 128 passengers on both flights lost their lives, and after investigations by the Civil Aeronautics Board, it seemed both aircrafts were flying at the same altitude at the same time, and due to lack of communication and bad weather, they couldn't see each other which led to the crash. Today, many people visit the site of the crash, which is now popularly known as Crash Canyon. Number 10, the El Tovar Hotel. Still in the creepy zone, there is another haunting story in the Grand Canyon, which may be hard to believe for some, but for those who have had this chilling experience, there is no doubt about the credibility of their claims. The El Tovar Hotel, situated 20 feet from the south rim of the Grand Canyon, was an epitome of beauty and luxury when it was opened in 1905. But since then, there have been countless horror stories from tourists who visit the hotel, and many of them vow to never return. This should excite you if you are a believer in the paranormal. Guests at the hotel have given accounts of a figure wearing a black cape walking from the stairway to a graveyard at the front door before disappearing into the woods. Others recall the unsettling presence of a well-dressed elderly gentleman in the third floor, who keeps inviting the guests to attend the hotel's annual holiday celebration. These stories deter the faint-hearted, but consequently attracts paranormal investigators, who flock the hotel trying to detect the presence of paranormal beings. Can someone please call the Ghostbusters? Number 9. A Serial Killer's Hideout after Robert Sprangler escaped convictions for murdering his wife and their two children in their home, he decided to devise a more inconspicuous way of disposing of his victims. His last escapade had nearly sent him to prison, so he had to stay off the gun and look for a way to commit his despicable acts without arousing suspicion to himself. While taking a vacation at the Grand Canyon with his third wife 15 years later in 1993, Robert had an epiphany. Why murder his victims with a gun that'll have his prints all over it, when he can just push them down the Grand Canyon? His first experiment was his third wife, who accidentally slipped and fell 200 feet down the canyon to her death. Because accidents are common in the Grand Canyon, investigators couldn't prove that he was responsible for the murder, and once again, he was cleared of the murder. Fortunately, in the year 2000, the sadistic serial killer was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and in his sober moments he confessed to all the murders, definitely not winning the Husband of the Year award after that. Robert was subsequently sentenced to life imprisonment in 2001, where he died five months later. Number 8. The Real Bigfoot You've probably heard stories of Bigfoot sightings all around the world. This famous elusive figure has been the subject of conspiracy theories and unexplainable stories for centuries. 
But what if I told you that the monstrous creature is actually very real, or at least a version of it exists in the Grand Canyon? For years, there have been undoubted reports of the Mogollon monster, a seven-feet bipedal creature with large red eyes. According to eyewitness reports, the body of this fearsome creature is covered with long black or brown hair, except for the chest, face, hands, and feet, or maybe it shaves. Who knows? It probably doesn't use deodorants, as most people who have come in contact with it claim it has a pungent odor, like a dead fish or a skunk. The Mogollon monster is known to wander at night, leaving massive footprints that measure up to 22 inches and emitting unusual whistle sounds. The oldest sighting of this monstrous creature was in 1903, when I.W. Stevens reported seeing a creature having long white hair and matted beard that reached to his knees. Stevens reported that he had met the creature drinking the blood of two cougars, and when it noticed Stevens, threatened him with a club while screaming the most unearthly screech he had ever heard. You really wouldn't want to come across this beast while wandering in the Grand Canyon, but if you do, you probably shouldn't say hi. Number 7. The Cave of the Domes Now onto something a little less scary but quite mysterious, and may probably be one of the most interesting discoveries made in the Grand Canyon, the Cave of Domes. The ruddy limestone cliffs of the Grand Canyon harbors hundreds of caves, which are interconnected and filled with remains of plants and animals. For the wildlife that made this canyon home, these caves were their shelters. Their homes and evidence of their existence still litter the cave. Some of the animals that possess real estate in the Grand Canyon include sloths, mountain goats, bats, wood rats, and birds. Some of these caves vary in size, from narrow ones that'll have you going in on all fours to roomy ones that you can easily spin in without touching the walls. The remains contained within these walls are perfectly preserved due to the bone-dry conditions, creating a 40,000-year time capsule, preserving the history of times when North America was an Iceland. Out of the 335 already discovered caves in the Grand Canyon, the Cave of the Dome stands out as one of the most famous of them all, and it is no mystery why. This exceptional limestone cave system consists of remarkable domes that have been perfectly sculpted over millions of years of erosion. This impressive natural architecture attracts tourists in their droves who visit the cave in order to experience the wonder of this geological masterpiece, its history, and the science that makes it possible. One major feature that attracts tourists is the distinctive look of the cave ceiling, which would probably be a perfect location for an epic Instagram selfie and is caused by the buildup of mineral deposits on the ceiling over time. Even though getting to the cave will require lots of effort, the experience is absolutely worth it. Number 6. Oldest Reptile Tracks Ever Discovered Every day, hundreds of hikers pass through the Bright Angel Trail in the Grand Canyon, exploring nature, enjoying the biodiversity this beautiful landscape offers, and of course taking cool Instagram pictures. But one by one they pass by, ignoring this seemingly uninteresting boulder along the trail, because why in the world would anyone be interested in a fallen boulder when there are millions of interesting sights to behold? Unknown to many, though, this boulder that seemed to fit into the landscape has been holding a piece of ancient history that no one ever noticed, not even after combing the Grand Canyon for decades. Picture this. Grand Canyon, 315 million years ago, way before the dinosaurs dominated this green planet, a small reptile scuttled along, probably looking for something to eat, running away from a predator, or maybe just taking a hike and having a nice day, not knowing that it was about to become a legend. The sagacious walk must have fascinated the Earth so much that it took a snapshot of the trackway, impressing it into the ground, where it became fossilized over time. This boulder first came to notice in 2016, when a couple of students were taking a hike through the Bright Angel Trail, enjoying the sight. But then, this normal-looking boulder caught the attention of one of them, who went close to get a better look at it, and discovered the fossil of the oldest reptile tracks ever discovered on Earth. At first glance, it looked quite bizarre because of the sideways motions, and the tracks appeared to have been made by more than one animal. But what are the chances of two lizard-like animals walking side by side? 
pretty slim, according to experts. So the mystery deepened even further, causing scientists like Steve Rowland, a UNLV professor of geology, who took a deep study of the fossil trackways, after it was brought to his notice by one of the students who found the boulder, to scratch their heads and wonder, what kind of ancient reptile made this track impressions? And why exactly was it walking in this strange and weird manner? His first speculation was that this reptile was probably walking in a very strong wind, and the wind was blowing sideways, causing the animal to walk in such a strange manner. Another theory is that the slope was probably too steep, and this reptile had to do a little sidestepping dance so it wouldn't lose its balance and fall over, and as we can see today, the dance was probably very epic. However, until we are able to successfully invent a time machine, there is no way to actually know what exactly happened that day that made the reptile walk in such manners. Unfortunately, we'll never really know why because the trackway belonged to a reptile species that has never been discovered. So the question of what exactly made the trackway may never be fully answered. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. As more people visit the Grand Canyon, we uncover undeniable evidence of extraterrestrial activities, many of which are quickly debunked by authorities. These claims often lead to total closure of areas where they are discovered. This makes us question whether these claims are unfounded indeed. Because if this evidence of extraterrestrial activities are not real, then why do the authorities go to great lengths in order to cover it up? Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 5. No Dinosaur Fossils For an expanse of land so old, you would think that the Grand Canyon would be teeming with evidence of dinosaur existence. But then you'd be wrong. At the time of making this video, no dinosaur fossil has even been discovered. Even though the oldest known rock in the Grand Canyon is older than the oldest known dinosaur, there are chances that this beautiful landscape was never home to those majestic creatures who once dominated the green planet. Due to the fact that the age of the Grand Canyon is hard to determine, because getting the precise age of rocks is quite difficult. We'll get into that later. We can't really tell if dinosaurs ever lived there or not. As far as we know, the last dinosaur went extinct some 65 million years ago, and some researchers believe that the Colorado River started sculpting this natural wonder just around 5 to 6 million years ago, which means if this theory is right, then the Grand Canyon was not grand. Nor was it a canyon during the time of the dinosaurs. It was probably just another boring landscape. Other researchers, however, refute this claim, pegging the erosion to over 17 million years ago, which once again falls short of the time the dinosaurs were in charge. Another theory places the beginning of the formation of the Grand Canyon at around 70 million years ago, which is the only theory that suggests the possibility that this wonderland was once a playground for our extinct friends. According to scientists, the canyon was probably not one massive canyon at first because of the varying age of the rocks detected in different areas of the canyon. We have reasons to believe that this was once a couple of smaller canyons, fused together in friendship through the slow but effective process of erosion, just like Power Rangers, to create this massive natural architecture. We're probably just grasping at straws and trying to determine the age of the Grand Canyon, because the arguments are so wide and varied that we might never reach a unanimous conclusion. Well, that's until someone finally builds a time machine, so we can go back in time and get our facts right. However, more scientists like to stick with the narrative that the Grand Canyon is younger than the dinosaurs, which means their history never overlapped and perhaps explains why no dinosaur fossils have ever been discovered within the walls of the canyon, even after we have combed the entire stretch of this massive landscape for decades. Or maybe we just haven't looked hard enough. Who knows what we might stumble upon? Maybe even tomorrow. Number 4. The Grand Canyon is filled with fossils. While the Grand Canyon may or may not have been home to dinosaurs, it wasn't a barren landscape with no inhabitants. This enigmatic structure offers more than a pretty scenery, as it contains a diverse mix of fossils ranging from ancient bacteria to mammals from the Ice Age. Fossils can also be formed from footprints, burrows, and other impressions left on the Earth by these ancient beings giving us a clue as to what life was like millions of years ago. 
These fossils are trapped within layers of sandstones and limestones stacked upon each other like books in a library. The fossils that have been discovered at the Grand Canyon span millions of years, with some of the oldest fossils being trilobites, sea creatures related to insects and crustaceans, who roamed the ocean over 500 million years ago, scavenging for dead organic material to munch on. Things took a dramatic turn in the Grand Canyon much later, around 320 to 280 million years ago, when plant life began to appear in the canyon. Fern-like organisms and conifers were one of the first to appear, along with large insects such as the massive dragonfly, which had a 28-inch wingspan. Today, you can find tracks belonging to animals and insects we are more familiar with, including reptiles, scorpions, and spiders who scurried across these dunes millions of years ago. Because the ocean was deeper back in the days, and much of what we see today in the canyon was probably deep under the ocean, you should be able to find marine fossils engraved into the rocks of the Grand Canyon. From hardened fish teeth to crinoids, shaped like a Cheerio, to even the grainy skeleton of a sponge, probably SpongeBob's great-great-grandparent, this enigmatic landscape makes up for its lack of evidence of Jurassic Park life with its array of other fossils. Number 3. Uranium Deeply encrusted in the siltstone, sandstone, and mudstone layers of the Grand Canyon lies one of the most valuable mineral resources on the planet, uranium. Since the 1950s, uranium mining has been an active part of the Grand Canyon, and there are at least eight mining operations open close to the site. Uranium, one of the closest minerals we have to vibranium, is a heavy metal that has been used as a source of concentrated energy for over 60 years. If humans eventually collapse into an apocalyptic end as predicted by experts, uranium will likely play a huge part in the nuclear war that would make that possible, as it is used both as a principal fuel for nuclear reactors and in producing nuclear weapons. But the element is not all bad and has a myriad of uses that wouldn't lead to the end of human civilization, including its application in nuclear medicine. Uranium plays an important role in X-rays, MRIs, radioisotope injections, and radiation treatment. Important scientific research, such as age-dating materials, compositional information rely on uranium, as well as the agricultural sector where it is used to irradiate food and seeds. Uranium is also in many popular consumer products, including smoke detectors, irradiating bandages, and watches. There's a huge downside to this though. Mining damages the environment. And so, in order to protect the Grand Canyon from the negative effects of mining, which has devastated many previously booming ecosystems, we need to reduce our dependence on uranium and turn to other eco-friendly alternatives. What's more important to us? Preserving our beautiful planet and its many wondrous sights, or allowing big corporations to keep making money while our planet slowly dies? It's totally up to us, and we'd better do something about it before it is too late. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Number 2. The Great Unconformity Earlier, we talked about the dispute concerning the age of the Grand Canyon, and how many believe it's relatively young, while some postulate that it is as old as the dinosaurs. However, that's not the only age-related mystery in this wondrous landscape. One confounding feature of this geological wonder is the sometimes extreme age gap between neighboring slices of rock stacked right on top of each other. What this means is that a layer of sedimentary rock dated back to millions of years ago can be found resting on basement rocks formed billions of years ago, which means that we are missing rocks worth millions of years. So, where did all the rock go, and what happened during those long years? This mystery has been a subject of debate for decades. However, with recent breakthroughs in their research, Scientists are edging closer and closer to answering this age-long question. Number 1. Gateway to the Afterlife For most of us, the Grand Canyon is just another geological wonder, but for the Native American tribe, this is more than a national park. The local Hopi people, for example, refer to the Grand Canyon as Ongtupka, and hold on to beliefs that upon passing away from this earth, a Hopi will pass eastward through the Sipapuni, or Place of Emergence a mineral deposit dome upstream situated where the Colorado River and the Little Colorado River inside the canyon unite. 
where the journey to the afterlife begins. The Grand Canyon holds great spiritual significance to the locals and is filled with ancient worship sites, temples, and other consecrated spiritual locations. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.